Hey, what's going on guys? Willis here. We're back with another Wuthering Waves video. Pretty exciting news for you guys today. I've actually got access myself to the technical test. So I'm actually able to bring you guys some more exclusive content. Uh, I basically wanted to use this video to ask you guys what you would like to see on the game, um, whether it be the characters and stuff, um, maybe some dungeon gameplay, uh, bosses, uh, different characters. So I'm basically just gonna use this video and just go over like all the stuff you can see just on the UI and all that good stuff. I do have some other gameplay on my channel. Um, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you're new, we're going to be covering uh, Wuthering Waves up until the launch. I'm super excited for this game. And if you've never heard of this game, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So Wuthering Waves is a new, uh, I guess, open world anime game from uh, the developers behind uh, Punishing Grey Raven. So, first of all, the combat in the game is actually nuts. It's really crazy. If you want to see some more in-depth gameplay, we already have some gameplay on the channel. I'm not really going to be doing much open world exploring in this video. It's basically just going to be uh, going over like the menu and stuff, just looking at the characters. Um, we actually played this on stream today. So, if you want to check my VOD, you can watch the full unedited VOD of me just uh, messing around and stuff. Um, we basically unlocked... I think we've got all the characters now. Um, because, obviously, it is the technical test... They do give you this currency, which you can buy uh, the characters from this menu up in the top left. You can also buy the, I guess, the five-star weapons, the four-star weapons, whatever you want to call them. Um, and you can just use them, obviously, because it is the test. I don't know exactly how uh, the gacha is going to work or if it does have gacha. Um, so I don't know the answer to that question yet. Uh, the game itself is going to be on PC and mobile. I guess Android, uh, iOS as well, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, here's the characters we've got so far. I would name each one, but unfortunately I don't know their names in Chinese. Um, but I did name them in my all character video. We did go over over like every single character, so there is gameplay for each one. But the characters I've been leveling up the most is honestly probably the main character. This one right here. Um, she actually uses this uh, samurai sword. This is the sword I actually bought using the points that they gave us. So it's actually pretty sick. Um, I've also been using this character right here. Uh, you already know how she works. As you can see, she's pretty nuts. Each character has their own sort of like talent ability. You can see at the bottom here, you see this bar? Um, as you switch characters, the bar changes, obviously, because each character is different. They have their own, I guess, sort of way to build their meter, as it were. Um, but what I really like about this character is when she attacks, and you actually hold the click. See how the bar moves like that? So basically, if you let go while it's in the radius of the blue sort of tetris area to do like a special attack so you can actually fail it if you don't do it in the right timing as you can see but if you actually time it correctly she does this really cool slash and it's awesome obviously each character has their e ability each character has their r which is the ultimate uh, you've got stuff like gadgets as you can see here so um you've got stuff that smashes rocks you've got stuff for puzzles that control your hands and i think my favorite one which i've collected so far is this one right here this is uh, the grapple hook. So you can pretty much just grapple the air like this. And you can use it to swing around. It's really freaking cool. And then obviously you have the glider, which you can just glide like this. Really cool. Almost like a little umbrella. Mary Poppins. Cool. Uh, main character is pretty sweet herself as well. Um, what's also awesome as well, um, you've got these things called, I guess they're like summons as it were. So each character you can equip like a, an enemy type. So as you kill enemies in the world, you can actually capture these enemies and I guess you can equip them to your character. So let me just find the menu here real quick. So each character has like, I think a separate menu. I think it is, is it this one here? Yeah, down the bottom here, you can equip like different uh, enemies that you find and each enemy does different things. I think there's some that can heal you. There's some that can like obviously make you stronger, like tankier. And then there's some that just do pure damage. I'm using actually a boss, which I killed, which is this one. Um, he does this really big sort of like sweeping attack. It's really cool. And it definitely does a ton of damage. Um, on this character here, I've got one that like does this. Does like a lightning attack. Really freaking cool. Um, this character here, I think she summons like a little fire imp. that sort of like shoots out fire, as you can see. Pretty cool. But it's, it's depending on your playstyle. You can get ones that like heal you, I'm pretty sure, and shield you. But I really like that you can just obviously... Go around and just capture these things and use them to sort of help you out. It's really freaking awesome. Um, yeah, what would you guys like to see in future videos? We have full access to the game 
up until Friday. I'm probably going to be recording pretty much all day today and all day tomorrow. So I'll definitely be reading your comments. Um, but yeah, you've got stuff like this, the talent upgrades, the weapon upgrades. Um, obviously this here, this is the equivalent to artifacts is the best thing I can call it. It gives you buffs here. We've got like a two set buff. I think this two set buff gives it so I have 20% more attack. And then I think, where is it? Let me go back to my other character here. I think it's this one. I have the four piece on. I'm not entirely sure. I've got a four piece. Yeah, so the four piece is I do 30% more damage to enemies under 50% health. Or either more than 50% health. I can't remember the, which way around it was. Um, but yeah, there's so much more to this game. I'd love to show you guys. But yeah, this is just basically a me asking what you guys would like to see. Because at this point, we can go around and we can pretty much record anything you guys would like to see. If there's any characters in specific you guys would want to see as well, if you don't know their names, I'll put them up right here so you can see. If you don't know the names, we'll just call them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, as well, uh, a lot of people have been asking, is there a male character in this game? Uh, there is the male uh, main character, but in this instance, I've actually picked the female character to be uh, my MC, as it were. But yeah, hope you guys just enjoyed this little quick short video. Like I said, anything you want to see, leave a comment down below and like the video. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next uh, Wuthering Waves 